probably the number one asked question I get is how to choose a telescope. Um, there's a lot of telescopes on the market. Uh, they don't have to be expensive to be enjoyed, as a matter of fact. Um, probably the best telescope to begin with, after testing probably hundreds and hundreds of low-cost telescopes, would be a refractor. Uh, this is an example of a refractor. The way you can identify a refractor is it has the lens in the front of it, as opposed to a reflector, which will have the uh, mirror in the back. Uh, generally, of the refractors I've tested from about uh, 60 millimeters to about 100 millimeters, the lenses are usually very good. The problem is, in choosing this, and this is very important, check the eyepieces. Um, the uh, eyepiece quality will determine how good you, what you can see out of the telescope. A lot of your lower-cost telescopes will have plastic eyepieces. This will never do. I mean, you'll, uh, the plastic will cause uh, all kinds of aberrations. Um, there's some very low-cost eyepieces out there. They'll be identified on the side of the eyepiece called Kellner's Plossels. I can't even tell you how much better it will be if you choose a telescope like that. After you've choo you choose a telescope, and I like refractors, moderate focal lengths, they'll be about uh, two foot long and about 60 to 90 millimeter sizes. Uh, the next thing you've got to have is you've got to have a sturdy mount. So go up to the mount, because they're usually seeing examples set in the store. Hold your hand on the mount down and try to shake the telescope that's on it. If it shakes freely, then you're going to have a hard time because even if the optics are good, the image is going to move all over the place and you're not going to be able to enjoy the telescope. So there's many, many companies that make refractors very low cost. I've seen them as low as $49 and all the way up to about $300 you can get one. Uh, again, refractor, glass eye pieces, very sturdy tripod. That's very important because you don't want it shaking when you're using your power through there. Uh, the eye pieces are key after you find a refractor. Um, the Kellners you'll probably want with these eye pieces, and the smaller ones you won't like because the eye relief is very hard to see out of. You'll want to get something in probably the 25 millimeter range down to about 12 millimeter range. Uh, after you do that, it doesn't matter whether it's a Kellner or Plossel. Uh, just stay away from the plastic ones and uh, go for as much rigidity as you can get.